Hi, so in this video I've partnered with Green Sensations. I'm not being paid for this video, they just contacted me and asked me if they could send me some of their products and if I'd like to do a review. So I'm just going to show you what's in the basic starter kit and then I'll show you what else I've got and I'll explain a little bit about the system. They've also kindly agreed to give me a discount code so anybody who's watching this on my YouTube channel or any of my subscribers or viewers of my blog, you'll be able to purchase any of the items off their website with a discount which I'll put in at the end for you. So this is the basic screen, sens screen sensation starter kit. It comes with the screen and the frame, a squeegee, a kind of like palette knife or squeegee as they call it, some stirring sticks and a mixing bowl that falls flat for easy, you know, for easy storage. The starter kit, I believe, starts at around £90. But as I say, there will be a 25% discount code for you to use. So you also get a little instruction manual, like a quick start guide and some information about primary and secondary colours, that kind of thing. There's your bowl that folds flat for storage. Little scraper, that would be good for your scan and cut mat actually you know for cleaning it you squeegee your wooden sticks for helping you put your ink onto your screen or for mixing I suppose they could also be used and this is the actual screen itself Okay, so you've got a nice big flat surface and it's really sturdy that it doesn't seem to buckle in the middle or anything. This is your frame where you put your screen on and then that drops back into there. You could use it this way I suppose in front of you or if you're left or right handed you could turn it around. It's got nice big handles on the side that make it easier you know to get hold of it all seems really well made i also got some inks so i've got basic black i've got ultraviolet i'll show you these in more detail in a minute i've got smoothie and i've got niagara so ultraviolet and smoothie uh, this is a really kind of deep purpley colour, it's lovely. And this is like a lilac colour. Your basic black. And Niagara is a bit like an Air Force blue, I think, really. Something like that. So the inks are all water-based. So when you're using all this and you're coming to, you know, clean everything up, they're all easily cleaned in cold water. Obviously, all drain safe because they're water-based. So if you're washing them in your sink, you know, you, anything that drains away is all going to be okay for your drains. Once the ink is fully cured onto a solid surface or it's heat set onto fabric, it becomes permanent. 
anything that you use on fabric once it's heat set you are okay to wash up to 40 degrees so that's good other things that you'll need you'll need the tape this from reading the little bit of paperwork that I got with mine as well um, you use this to put your screen onto this frame so tape I also got this booklet in mine but mine came in two separate packages I got a, the starter kit and then I got a box with the inks and the, the screens in and I also got this leaflet and it just tells you you know how to attach the screen to your frame all in pictures as well as writing which is great because I think pictures always help don't they um, <clears throat> how to mask off an area if you're doing certain designs where you want to use different colours and you don't want the colours to transfer into each other, you know, and mix. How to make a repeating pattern. How to watercolour with your inks, because as I say, the inks are water-based. So you could probably um, even stamp with them, maybe. Um, and then just a little project in the back where they've used it on fabric, which is something I want to try actually as well. Also another project, how to make a cushion cover and then just close up shots on the back. So that's nice as well. And then screens, I'll show you the screens that I've got. So the first one is Kaleidoscope and it's butterflies. There it is on the back. So these are like a very thin film with a mesh in and you know, if you don't know what screen printing is, basically you put ink on and then you drag it along and what it does, the ink drops through the mesh and leaves you the design behind. So that's Kaleidoscope. I also got Huxley the Husky, which I think is absolutely adorable. And there he is on the back. And I got abstract circles which here they're showing how to use it on a candle that's the design I'll show you on the back so I think it's going to be the abstract circles that I'm going to use today but what I will do I've got some ideas and you know about using some of these on fabric as I say and maybe trying to make a project with it so they're all the bits and pieces that I got Just take one of these out to show you. I don't know how well you're going to see this, but they're like a very thin plastic type thing, really. And then all the middles of these flowers and things here are all like clear, but they're like a mesh and that's how the ink goes through. I don't know whether you can see, you can see my arm through, so you can see how kind of transparent they are. And again, I believe you just wash these in cold water, leave them, I would leave them flat to dry and then, you know, store them. I think I would be inclined to keep the card that the screen came on and just store them like that in a drawer. Okay, so a few things to point out that I've just read in the little instruction manual. It says that the frame, which I've taken, I've slid out of the main body of the kit has got the Screen Sensations logo on it and that's what you need looking up. It also tells you that the corners on one end of this frame are notched out. I don't know whether you can see, I'll try and show you. Can you see there on an angle and at the bottom the knot and this apparently indicates which way you slide this into the main frame. So it says that you need to get your transfer. Also, these transfers are reversible. So if you've got, say for instance, something like the dog that's looking to the, to the right and you want it looking the other way, you flip the screen over. But for this design, it doesn't really matter. So it tells you that you line your screen up over the aperture in this frame 
and then you tape it down using the tape. It's a kind of like masking tape this I think. I don't I don't know you know whether it's exactly masking tape but it reminds me of masking tape. So I'm going to do opposite ends first because that's what it seems to be showing in the book. So I'm going to do the top and the bottom. And I'm going to attach the tape to the to the screen first and just try and stretch it so it's not baggy. And now I'm going to do the sides. Okay, so that's how we're looking so far. I'm going to open up the frame. So what you have to do, you have to feed it in with these notch corners going in first, but you feed it in so that the tape is facing you. So I've flipped it round and I'm going to slide it in. like that. So when you close it, you don't see any tape or anything. It says in the instructions that the first time you use it to prime it, you know, using a piece of waste paper or something first. So I'm just going to get a piece of paper and place that on here and then We'll see what happens next. Okay, I've cut a couple of pieces of 12 by 12 paper and I'm going to just place one on the base of the screen and close the lid. And you can see through your screen, so you can see, you know, where your paper or your card or your fabric or whatever it is you're using is positioned. I think for this first one, I'm gonna use smoothie. And on the pots, they have a, a tab. I don't know how well you're going to see this. But there's like a tab, like you get on pasta sauce pots, that kind of thing. So you just need to break the seal. There's, there is a slight smell to it, but nothing, you know, too offensive. I'm going to give it a stir with one of the wooden spatulas. It's quite a thick ink. It's kind of like the consistency of paint. But what a lovely colour. So now it says that you put some... And I don't think it matters how much you use because it can go back in the pot when you've finished it. So I'm just going to put my spatula for now in here. Then you need your squeegee. And I think basically you just put your squeegee on an angle. And drag it down and then I'm going to dump that excess back in the pot. Now obviously this is my first time of using it. I've never done anything like this before so it's probably not going to be perfect but it'll give us an idea so now I'm going to lift up the lid <laughs> look at 
that. That's amazing. And that, that is brilliant. So I'm going to have another go with the same one. So I'm going to put a piece of paper back in here. I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to put a bit more ink on this time because I don't think I put enough on. I think I was being a bit too conservative. So we'll dollop some more on. I think the secret is you've got to get it all quite thick along the top because obviously that's what you, you're dragging along. So I'm going to get the squeegee again, put it up against the frame here and then on an angle. Not sure if they say in the, in the instructions what, what kind of an angle, maybe 45 degree. So I'm just holding it with two hands. I've got the base of it on the mesh, butted up against the top of the frame. And I'm just going to drag it down, right down to the bottom and then scoop it up. And then you can see everything that's left. I'm just going to bring the pot in and I'm just going to dump that all back in the pot. So it looks as though you're using a lot, but you're not really, you're hardly using any. If I just show you, it's all back in the pot. So let's have a look at this one. I'm just gonna lift it up nice and gently. There's the other one. That is absolutely brilliant. I love it. Amazing that. Now, obviously, it goes on very thin, so I don't think it'll take long to dry. But how lovely would that be as the background for a scrapbook page? If you just use some plain card and you did something like this, you could then put a photo, you could put some journaling. You've got a lovely border, a neat border all the way round, which is, you know, because of the frame itself. So that's absolutely fab. I love that. So I'm going to try another one. So I'm just going to put these two on one side to dry. I'm going to take the screen out. But I'm just going to get any excess ink that's still on here and dump it back in the pot. I might use this little squeegee actually because I think... You're really hardly using any ink. I'm just going to dump all the dirty stuff in there. Right, uh, one thing I forgot to say is as well, as well as having these handles, there's like a little thumb hole at the front there. So when you come in to lift your screen up, if you just put your fingers in, in that thumb hole, then you can lift this up quite easily. I'm going to take the frame out. And this is all still nice and clean. But what I am going to do is just give it a little wipe over. Make sure there's nothing that's going to transfer anywhere. Wipe the ink off here. And that cleans up really easily. I'm going to take the, the screen off here. And I'm going to transfer, uh, put another one on. And I can probably use this 
tape again for my next screen so I'll just hang it off my table for a minute I'm just going to bring the plastic wrapper back in that this screen came out of and I'm just going to put that on there for now and then obviously I've got some ink on the underside of this so I'm just going to wipe this off with a wipe Obviously when you finish you can go and run it all under water before you put it all away. But I just want to try another screen so and I don't want to transfer that lilac ink that I've just used. So that's all nice and clean again now. Hopefully no signs of the lilac ink to transfer. out of the way and I'll go and clean that up okay so just before I move on to the next one I just want to show you I've washed the spatula and dried it with a piece of paper towel so these can be reusable I've washed the squeegee and the small squeegee so easy to clean these absolutely brilliant I've washed the screen I just ran it in fact I, I put it in my sink I just put it in the bottom of my sink and I ran water on it and just rubbed over it and it's all come off and I've just got it on the plastic that it was in under here with two little bits of kitchen paper and I'm just going to leave it to air dry and then once it's dried I'll put it back in here and store it flat. So the next one I'm going to do is our little husky friend. He's called Huxley, Huxley the Husky. So I'm going to do the same thing, put the frame down. This is one of those where I said before that's directional, so if you want him looking, you know, a certain way, you can flip it over. So I'm going to put it back on the screen. And you can see through, as I say, these are quite thin, so you can see through, so you can kind of, you know, centralise them. I'm going to use the tape that I've just used. Again, do opposites so that you can stretch your screen. So I would put the tape on the screen first so you I'll try and show you so I've got the tape on the screen and then I'm just you know stretching it out gently and if you think it's a bit wrinkled or a bit baggy you can lift the tape up and re-stick it so let's put this in place I have to say I'm loving this so far no, I've never done anything like this before. I don't ever remember even doing anything like this at school. When I told my daughter that I'd got this kit, she said um, she'd been doing some screen printing recently in her GCSE and she said it's brilliant. She said it's, it's, uh, it's a cool thing to do. So... You know, if a teenager thinks it's good, then it must be good, mustn't it? Right, so again, I've got that taped on now, hopefully okay. And if you didn't want this that says you're poor, so you could take that off and just have him. 
but I think for now I'll see if I can get this on a piece of card all together. So again, you turn it round and you have the tape facing you. You've got your notches on the bottom and you slide it into your frame. Just need to make sure I've got my tape overlapping my frame here. So just don't have your tape. Let's tuck it in, I'll show you. Don't have your tape going over these guidelines because they're what help it run smoothly into your frame. So that's, that's how it's looking now. For this one, I'm going to use Niagara, which is this lovely blue shade. Again, I'm just going to give it a little stir. I don't know if you need to. I can't remember what the instructions said, but all the instructions are, you know, with all this. I'm going to try this one on a piece of black card and see how it looks. So I'm just going to position my card under here and see if I can get it. Oh, I think it'll just fit widthwise. Just move it ever so slightly. And I love the idea that there's a grid on the base so that you can line up your work if you want to. Okay, that appears to be okay. I don't know what this pale blue is going to look like on black, but that's why I want to try it. So again, I'm just going to dump a stack of ink all over the top. Okay, so again, squeegee, tucking it into the top of the frame, 45 degree angle. Drag it down and lift it up. Now this paint seems a lot thinner, but it's very warm in here, so I don't know whether it's, it is a thinner consistency or if it's just because it's warm in my room. So I'm just gonna go back over this again and try and get the rest of this all in one go without it dripping back all over my frame. I'm just gonna put that to one side and lift this up and see how it looks. But I think I'll just Use my squeegee and get some of this excess paint. So let's have a look. I've got ink all over my fingers. Right, so going to put my fingers in the little thumb hole at the bottom. I'm going to lift the frame up slowly. The card is wanting to come with it, so I'm just going to gently let it fall away. And there he is. Now, there's a lesson to be learned. I've printed it the wrong way around, so I need to put the screen on the opposite way around. I didn't think of that. I needed to mirror image it. But I mean, how beautiful is that? I've got a little bit of a smudge here, but that's probably my fault, not the screens. But how amazing is that? That's brilliant. Okay, so just to save some time, I've taped it on again. Now, I've taped it onto the screen. I've got the screen frame facing up with the screen sensations readable. And I've put, because I'm going to try and do all of it, I've put the screen on the frame so that the words are backwards as I look at it. Because what you do when you put it into here, you flip it over 
and it slides in and that's how you're looking at it. So you want to be able to read the words the right way round if you're using words, if that makes sense. So it's all stuck on the frame. Now I have washed this and I have tried to dry it a bit, so I'm hoping that it will be okay. So I'm going to lift up the frame Turn it around so that the tape is looking at me. Slide it back in. And then when I put this down, it's now the right way up. I'm going to use the same piece of card, but I'm just going to turn it over. Just to save some time. And you do want to try and make sure that you've got your screen stretched out. So I'm going to dump some more ink back on here. You want enough on so that, you know, if you've got like, this is narrower at the top here, but it's wider at the bottom. So you want enough ink so that it will drag out over all your design. Let's give it another go and see what happens. So you're just nice and slowly down over everything. When you get to the end, lift it up, hold it over your tub and dump it all back in. Just going to use this small squeegee. To scrape off some of the excess. back into the pot so hopefully this time when I lift it up it should be the right way around there you go look at that how brilliant is that you could frame that, couldn't you? Buy a frame, frame it, give it as a gift. I think that's absolutely amazing. So, let's just put that back down now. Put the lid on this ink, because otherwise I'm going to end up with it all over. So let's just have a recap. So basically, your starter kit comes with your, your base frame and your frame that you put your mesh on, your big squeegee, your little squeegee, a pack of wooden spatulas and this collapsible bowl. Then, and that in the UK is around... 90 pounds I think it's 80 pounds 99 something like that so that's your basic kit your inks come in loads of colors and they start at around about eight pounds 7.99 i think some are 8.99 something like that and as i say there's loads of colors tapes and accessories are also all on the website the people that make this are crafting.co.uk. They do free delivery on all orders over £30. And as I say, I was asked to have a look at these products and see what I thought and, uh, you know, do a, a review. As I say, I'm not being paid for doing the video. And I have been given a 25% discount code off all Screen Sensation purchases. So if you decide to go to the crafting website and purchase any of this stuff, use my code because you will get 25% off. I'll put the code at the end of the video. I'll also put a link to the website and the discount code in the description box directly under this video. 
so that hopefully you can make use of that if you want to. So I'll just show you the two that I did earlier. These are dry now. So that's one and that's the other. And I honestly can't tell. I think that was the first one. That was the first test I did because there's a little bit of pattern missing at the end. But that, that was my fault, not anything to do with this. I just didn't pull the ink far enough down. So that was my very first one. That's the second one, the one done again, which I think is absolutely fabulous. And then here is the Husky. So please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. Don't forget you can also follow me on Instagram and you can be um, follow me on Patreon as well. I hope you liked it. I hope I've covered everything for you. If you decide that you are going to go and purchase, purchase anything off the website, make use of my 25% discount code. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.